Good morning. Now we will discuss a few problems on nodal analysis. In the last lecture, we have seen the different steps which are involved in applying nodal analysis for analyzing the electrical circuits. We have seen that there will be five steps which we need to follow when we do employ nodal analysis for analysis of the circuit. So, and I think we have done a simple problem also on analyzing a circuit using nodal analysis. So, in this lecture, we will try to determine the nodal and node voltages, currents in various branches and also voltage drops in different branches using nodal analysis. So, a quick review of, I will start with a quick review of the five steps which will be followed. And then we will move on to the numerical problems. Now, moving ahead. The first step, as already mentioned, we need to identify the number of nodes in the circuit and then assign them voltages. One node, which we call it as reference node, we will assign it 0 volts. For the rest of the nodes, if there are voltage sources assigned, then we will identify the voltages. If not there, we will assign them voltages. And next, at each of these effective nodes, at which voltages are assigned, that we will apply KCN at each of these nodes. And then, we will try to determine the node voltages using the equations applied in KCN. And finally, we will determine the branch currents. So, I will start with this question, which we have already tried during our mesh analysis. We have tried to determine the current in this 2 ohms resistor using mesh analysis. The same circuit now we will try to analyze it using our nodal analysis now. Okay, now we will try to do it with nodal analysis now. Okay, so before we go, so just I have modified the question. So now we will be trying to determine the current in this particular network using nodal analysis. We have tried mesh analysis in our previous week. Now for the same network we will try using nodal analysis. So the first step for this one is to identify the nodes. right? So if you carefully see anything which is any point in this circuit where two or more elements are connected it is called as a node. right? So I'll take this one as a node, right? This is a node because two elements are connected. Here, three elements or two elements are connected. Here, three elements are connected. Here, right? So, totally, how many nodes are there? Six nodes are there, right? So, step one, how many nodes are there? There are six nodes in the circuit. Out of which, how many of these are effective nodes? That we will identify now. Okay. So, step 2 is assigning voltages, right? So, what I will do is nothing but the bottom one, usually I will take it as 0 volts. Okay. And if you see, if it is 0, then the third one will be at a potential of 10 volts. Point 2 will be at a potential of 20 volts. Isn't it? So, now, out of these 6 nodes now if you carefully see these have been assigned some potentials 20 10 and 0 now we need to identify sorry we need to determine potentials at these nodes only so these are considered as effective nodes to repeat it again see the reference one i have taken this one as 0 volts and if you consider see there is a voltage source here so 10 volts so if it is 0 then this is a 10 volts similarly since it is at 0, now this will be at 20 volts. Now I am just redrawing the circuit now. Right, so this is 0 volts. This is 10 volts, this is 20 volts. So now the remaining things, now I will assign them 1, 2, 3 now. Because 4 by 6 looks odd for me. So I am just, this is 1, this is 2 and this is 3. 
right so now three effective nodes are there so those will be assigned voltages this is v1 this is v2 and this is v3 now understood how to apply these steps v1 v2 and v3 now a quick review now now see here this is v1 this is v2 this is v3 right and this is it 20 volts and this is at 10 volts and this is at 0 right so now for each of these nodes effective nodes you need to apply case here right so this is my effective node 1 how many paths are there 1 2 and 3 paths are there right so I have 1 2 and 3 paths which is equal to 0 right so what is the current in this one see this is the first path so what is the voltage of see from here what is the nearest node in this path the nearest node is this one and its potential is 3 so what is the voltage of here v1 minus v3 by in that path what is the resistance 4 now from here what is the nearest node this is the nearest node v1 minus 20 by 4 from here what is the nearest node in this path it is the nearest node so it is v1 minus v2 by 3 so i will repeat it here start node minus end node by resistance of that path this is the way how we write see i repeat it once again v1 this is first path so what is the first node which you encounter v3 so v1 minus v3 by 4 here it is v1 minus v2 by 3 here it is v1 minus 20 by 4 right if what is LCM for this one? It is 12. So I will get 3V1 minus 3V3 plus 3V1 minus 60 plus 4V1 minus 4V2 is equal to 0. So what is the LCM? LCM will go here. It will become 0. So 3, 3. So it is 10V1 minus 4V2 minus 3V3 is equal to 60. This is my equation number 1. Similarly for equation number 2. So this is my second node, right? V2. And this is my V1. And this is my V3. How many bars are there? 1, 2, and 3. See here, it was an effective node, 10, right? This was at 20 volts. And this is at 0. 0, 0. So how many bars are there? 1, 2, and 3. So at effective node 2, 3 bars are there. 1, 2, and 3. So first bar, what is it? V2, I am starting from here. What is the nearest node? This is V1 voltage. V2 minus V1 by 3. Plus, second path, V2 minus effective voltage is 10. Plus, see this path, V2 minus V3 by 3. We solve it. LCM is 6. Right, it is 2V2 minus 2V1 plus 3v2 minus 30 plus 2v2 minus 2v3 is equal to 0. LCM will go here. See what is the equation here? 2 plus 3 7. So 2v1 minus 7v2 plus 2v3 is equal to minus 30. This is equation number 2. Similarly for node number 3. At node number 3, this is node 3, this is at 10, this is at 20, this is at 0. At node 3, 3 baths, this is the first bath, V3 minus V1. I will start at V3 and I will end at V1 by 4. Second path it is V3 minus V2 by 3. And the third path it is V3 minus this is 0 voltage by 2 is equal to 0. Now you take LCM, this is 12. Right, so I will get 3V3 minus 3V1 plus 4V3 minus 4V2 plus 6V3 is equal to 0. You solve it, you will get equation number 3. Now I do have 3 equations, right? Equation number 1, equation number 2, and equation number 3. See, I have, uh, yeah. So I have clearly mentioned it for you. For those who do have confusion, you can go through these slides. Right. See, 
I have got three equations now at node 1, node 2 and node 3. Once I do have all these equations, I will solve them. See, this is my V1, V2 and V3. So, this is V1 voltage, this is V2 voltage and this is V3 voltage. And this is 10, this is 20 and this is 0. Right. So, what he is asking, this is step number 4, it is done. Step number 5, what is required? Current flowing in the 2 ohms resistor at the right. See, this is 2 ohms resistor at the right. What is the current flowing? What is the voltage drop here from here to here? V3 minus 0. I is equal to V3 minus 0 is a voltage drop. What is the resistor here? 2. V3 I do already have value 5.37 minus 0 by 2. Whatever the value I will be getting 2.685. See this is the current. You check back in the problem which we have done in model no, mesh analysis. You will be getting the same answer. Okay. So you can apply either of these methods for solving a circuit. It's up to you. Whichever you feel it easier for you, you can apply it. But in the examination, I will mention it which method you are supposed to apply. So you should come prepare two methods for the examination. Okay. So that's it from my side. Uh, I hope that now you are able to apply nodal analysis for solving the circuits. And now this is your problem. This you have already done with mesh analysis. Now you need to repeat it with nodal analysis. Okay. And you are supposed to identify the currents in five ohms resistor. Okay. So that's it from my side. Thank you. In the next class, we will do some more problems on node analysis. Bye.